Hello and welcome to this video on Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft has launched Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is a platform that provides customers satisfied open lake uh, centric fully featured data analytics and AI platform to meet all their data analytics need. Microsoft actually has taken a leap forward to address the unnecessary data replication, which we are doing in our environment. Microsoft Fabric aims to provide revolutionize data engineering and analytics by promoting the concepts of having one copy of data stored in a central lake that is known as one lake. Now, using the industry standard parquet format, this means organization can avoid unnecessary data application. But we need to understand why does Microsoft need to come up with a platform? Microsoft already have Microsoft Synapse, Microsoft already have you know data factory microsoft has ai ml microsoft have power bi they have full bouquet of softwares what they wanted to achieve using this new framework where all these things are getting combined together so let's have a quick look at the architecture of this one so basically what's going to happen all the data engineering or data analytics tool which you are using in microsoft are coming under one framework and it's just not clubbing them the internal architecture has been changed to support one lake, which is basically the entire data will get saved in the Delta Parquet format, which is the industry standard for saving the columnar data. And all these services are based on that. So Power BI is going to access the same format data. The Snaps Analytics is going to do the same data. The Data Factory is going to do the same data. Same Warehouse is going to do the same data. Real Time Analytics is going to do the same data format either they are reading or writing they are going to access the same data in the same format now because of this you don't need to replicate the data again and again in the custom format previously what happens let's take an example i'll give you a very simple example i have multiple sources so this is first copy we can't avoid that now you bring it to data lake you create one copy it's it has its own format good it has the data bucket format now you go to data warehouse the data warehouse will be a database which is having its own format now most of the BI tool prefers and works best with the import mode. You have another copy of data. Three copies are at least there. Now take one more example when you need to use AI ML. Again, we are introducing either for AI ML, we'll take it from the lake, store it on data warehouse, or we may end up creating some copies just to do AI. So there are multiple copies of data getting created. And each time we have these technological innovation, we are just creating more and more copies of data to take the advantage of the technology. Now, Microsoft has decided to address that. What they have done, they have come up with this fabric, Microsoft fabric, and let's look at what they are calling it. Let's look at the definition from the Microsoft. So as per Microsoft, Microsoft fabric is an all in one analytics solution for enterprise that's cover everything from the data movement to data science, real time analytics and the business intelligence. It offer comprehensive suit for the services, including data lake, data engineering, data integration, all in one place. With the fabric, you don't need to piece together the different services from different vendor. Instead, you can enjoy highly integrated and to end in end to end easy to use product that is designed to simplify the analytics need. So now what is happening, you have one integrated environment which you can use and you don't need to bother about anything else. Now in this environment, we have this one central place where we call one lake. So you have one lake, one copy of data, one compute, you will be able to utilize those things together. So this is the basic objective. Now we, I am pre, uh, creating a blog on that and you will be able to get the details in that blog about, you know, how this data evolution has evolved and why Microsoft needed to do that. And I'll also give the fabric uh, link, official link of the documentation of fabric where you can take the advantage of it. Now you would definitely like to know uh, how we are going to go ahead and enable this fabric. So that I'll cover next.